Hello, dear friends and all things BRICS viewers. Once again, this week we are talking about one of the newest members of BRICS. Today it is the turn of the United Arab Emirates, a small nation that in just a few decades has transformed a lifeless desert into a global powerhouse. From skyscrapers to renewable energy, the UAE is making moves that the whole world is watching. One thing before going on. For daily updates about BRICS, connect with us on social media. You can find all the links here in the description. Now, let's start with a brief historical background of the UAE. The Federation of Seven Emirates, collectively known as the United Arab Emirates, lies in the southeastern corner of the Arabian Peninsula. Formed in 1971, the UAE has rapidly evolved from a modest fishing and pearl diving community into a global powerhouse in finance, tourism, and technology. The visionary leadership of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the founding father, set the stage for this transformation. He prioritized education and healthcare, laying the foundation for a prosperous future. The discovery of oil in the late 50s was a turning point fueling the nation's meteoric rise. Today, the United Arab Emirates is less dependent on oil, diversifying into sectors like renewable energy, represented by initiatives like the full Echo City, Mazdar, Dubai and Abu Dhabi are the most prominent Emirates, each a marvel in its own right. Dubai, known for its iconic skyscrapers like Buri Khalifa, is a hub for tourism and business. Abu Dhabi, the capital, is the political and cultural heart, housing institutions like the Lure Abu Dhabi. Yet through pragmatic foreign policy, business-friendly policies and savvy leadership, the United Arab Emirates has transformed into a keystone global hub, excelling in connectivity, commerce and cosmopolitanism. Now the UAE faces a historic opportunity as well as a challenge with an invitation to join the BRICS bloc as its first Middle Eastern member. The BRICS countries have cemented themselves as the major forces representing developing world interests. Understanding the world of geopolitics can be like putting together a puzzle. The United Arab Emirates is one example. Many people think that the UAE is primarily friendly to Western countries such as the United States. This is partly true. The Emirates has hosted American troops since 90s, but the full picture is more interesting. In recent years, the United Arab Emirates has begun to forge new friendships. They are building strong ties with countries such as India, to which they are historically linked, but also with China and Russia. For example, they have made great trade deals with China and have even agreed to trade oil using Chinese currency. When the United Nations voted in Russia's actions in Ukraine, the Emirates did not take sides. This shows that the United Arab Emirates wants to maintain good relations with many different countries. The alliance scenario is also more, let's say, colorful because the UAE is also part of another group called I2U2 which includes India and the United States. But what is perhaps more surprising is the presence of Israel. This group, formed in October 2021, aims to collaborate on major projects such as water supply, energy and transportation. What can we learn from this? The United Arab Emirates is like a smart player in a big game. It is making friends with different teams to make sure it stays strong and succeeds. This shows us that geopolitics is not always as simple as it seems. Sometimes countries forge surprising partnerships that we would not expect. However, strategic goals are also a significant part of its formation. The Emirates, a member of this alliance, has strong bilateral relations with both India and Israel. With India, the UAE has a comprehensive economic partnership agreement aiming to increase trade exchange to $115 billion within five years. With Israel, the UAE has increased its trade exchange from $125 million in 2020 to $700 million in 2021 and has established a $10 billion fund to invest in Israel's strategic sectors. The alliance is seen as a regional grouping based on shared interests and sponsored by Washington.
It aims to gain access to advanced U.S. technology in various sectors and to cooperate in containing Islamist groups considered a threat. So joining BRICS aligns with the UAE's strategy to diversify its partnership beyond reliance on Western alliances. This enlarges its room for maneuver. It also intersects with the UAE's economic vision with a GDP of $507 billion in 2022. It aims to grow it this exponentially to over $800 billion by 2030. BRICS membership can help catalyze this growth by securing great access to crucial markets. For instance, the UAE conducted over $25 billion in trade with both China and India in 2019. It runs a substantial trade surplus with both nations, exporting more than it inputs. China is also the UAE's largest non-oil trading partner. If the UAE can increase exports to other BRICS states significantly, it can reduce dependence on oil exports. This will also create opportunities in sectors like manufacturing, logistics, technology, and sustainability. Emirati companies can leverage partnerships in the massive BRICS economies to scale globally. The UAE is expected to ramp up investments into key multilateral banks centered around BRICS to catalyze greater lending for joint projects. The new development bank established by BRICS in 2015 has funded over 200 development projects worth $32 billion. The UAE joined it in 2021 and is now set to become a leading financier. In 2022, the UAE saw record foreign direct investment driven by major deals in green energy and healthcare. Infrastructure projects like Athiad Rail and new airports are underway. The country leads in green energy initiatives, including solar and waste to energy. A recent report credited UAE's $23 billion FDI to strong economic policies. As the host of the next United Nations Climate Change Conference, known as COP28, the Emirates aims to become a beacon of inclusive, transparent, pragmatic and results-oriented climate action. This aligns seamlessly with BRIC states' focus on sustainable development and low-carbon pathways. The conference serves as a key platform for international cooperation addressing critical issues like biodiversity loss and sustainable land use. Given the UIE's proven track record in climate initiatives, COP28 could significantly enhance its geopolitical standing offering rich content for analysis in the context of BRICS cooperation and beyond. In 2022, the UAE's economy surged by 6.6%, driven by oil production and robust non-oil sectors like construction and tourism. This growth pushed the fiscal surplus to 7.4% of GDP and contributed to a strong mergers and acquisitions landscape, particularly in the Middle East and North Africa region. Despite global declines, the UAE's venture capital scene remains vibrant. The country aims for economic diversification through BRICS partnerships and is projected to see moderate yet positive growth from 2023 to 2025. However, challenges like global uncertainties and suboptimal unemployment rates among young adults persist. Overall, the UAE is strategically leveraging its assets to build economic resilience. Despite these achievements, the UAE is not without its challenges. Regional competition for foreign investment is intensifying, particularly from Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Moreover, global uncertainties such as the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict pose risks to the UAE's economic stability. Yet the nation's strong economic fundamentals and diversification efforts provide a buffer against these headwinds, making it a key player in the global investment landscape, especially and its relationship with Asia. Greater collaboration with the BRICS nations can also boost the UAE's strategic aims to become a logistics and manufacturing hub connecting Asia, Africa, and South America. The UAE is strengthening its port and airport connectivity to become a prime transit point in these markets. Integrating these logistics channels with China's Belt and Road Initiative can unlock new trade and investment flows. Apart from the economic aspect, the United Arab Emirates also has geopolitical motivations for joining BRICS. By entering this bloc, 
the UAE aims to amplify its global voice and enhance its prominence in shaping the international order. Unlike Western-led institutions, BRICS provides a platform representing the developing world equitably in the highest levels. The United Arab Emirates has showcased its diplomatic influence by mediating multiple regional conflicts and disputes despite its small size. It played a lead role in reaching the historic Abraham Accords, which saw the normalization of ties between Israel and Arab nations. With deep connections across the Middle East and North Africa, the United Arab Emirates can share crucial insights and perspectives within BRICS. The United Arab Emirates faces a delicate balancing act in its relations with Saudi Arabia and Iran, which also recently joined the BRICS group. The recent speech at the United Nations by the UAE Minister of State for International Cooperation, Reem Bent Ibrahim Al Hashimi, was an opportunity to emphasize that the UAE's focus on sustainability and calling for reform of the United Nations Security Council, but also to urge Iran to end its occupation of three UAE's islands, a claim Iran strongly rejects. What can we call them? Maybe France with risks? Once again, geopolitics is never black and white. Culturally, the UAE brings a progressive, inclusive worldview to BRICS that embraces diversity beyond ideological constraints. Its cosmopolitan society seamlessly integrates various ethnic and religious groups. The planned Abrahamic family house with a mosque, church, and synagogue side by side symbolizes the UAE's focus on interface harmony. Just a couple of days ago, speaking at the BRICS parliamentary forum, Sakhar Gubash, the speaker of the Federal National Council, highlighted the bloc's economic significance and capacity to address global issues. He emphasized the UAE's efforts to promote regional peace and climate action. Gubash reiterated UAE's support for African development through financing initiatives and enhanced parliamentary cooperation. The United Arab Emirates' membership in BRICS showcases its skill in maintaining important alliances while expanding its global options. Its practical and open-minded approach could force the unity among the diverse BRICS nations. Leveraging its strategic position and commercial strength, the United Arab Emirates is set to increase its global influence. If you are interested in the UAE's growing role globally, stay tuned for more in-depth analysis and discussions. Your thoughts are welcome. So feel free to comment, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you are new here, and check our social profile in the description. We are just scratching the surface of global stories, so stay curious and stay with us. See you in the next video.